Hi, in today's discussion, let's talk about annuity. An annuity is a sequence of equal payments made regularly. The amount of each payment is referred to as regular or periodic payment denoted by capital R. The formula R is equal to the quotient of these values P multiplied to R divided by M and this value on the denominator 1 minus this quantity 1 plus the quotient of R and M raised to the exponent negative product of T and M where P is the present value that is the cash price minus the down payment R is the interest rate M is the number of payments made in a year and T time expressed in years let's look at example number one example number one a smartphone with a cash price of 16,500 pesos is purchased with a down payment of 2,000 pesos the remaining balance will be paid on a monthly basis for one year with an interest rate of 6% compounded monthly how much is the monthly payment so we always start with a given and we list down important things we need in our formula so first we'll take note of the cash price the down payment the present value p the interest rate r time t and m the number of payments made in a year so let's start with the cash price that is 16,500 pesos the down payment is 2,000 pesos and to get present value p this is the difference of the cash price and the down payment so in our spreadsheet formula we press equals we click this value minus this value and then press enter and we have the present value p as 14,500 pesos now we take the value of the interest rate r that is 6% in decimal value that should be 0 0.06 time t is one year because according to this problem you are only going to pay for one year and then the number of times you'll make your payment in a year would be 12 times that's monthly basis so we are now complete with the values we need for our formula and this is the formula its r is equal to the quotient of p multiplied to r divided by m and 1 minus this quantity 1 plus r over m raised to the power negative product of tm on my solution for this to be easily manipulated on my spreadsheet let me take the periodic rate that is the quotient of r and m so by simplifying that value i will have r divided by that's forward slash m so when i press enter I have a periodic rate of 0 0.0050 in present form this would be 0.5 percent and then I would like to simplify TM as well this is what we call the total number of payments made in the duration of the given time so that this would be the product of T and M so you press equals this value of T multiplied that's asterisk and this value of m located on column d row 12 when i press enter i have a value of 12. so when i use this formula on my spreadsheet let me start with equal sign and then let me create my grouping on my numerator and my denominator so let's start working out on the numerator let me place my cursor on the numerator so that I have a value of P this value or this cell I have column D row 9 multiplied to the periodic rate which is located here so I have asterisk and then click this value so I am now done with my numerator let's proceed to the denominator we have this cursor inside the grouping symbol I have one minus and then there is another open and close parenthesis so we place our cursor inside that grouping symbol and I have one plus 
the quotient of R and M, this is already the periodic rate, so you just simply locate the cell K8, and then after that, you have an exponent. Locate your cursor or position your cursor after this grouping symbol located on 1 plus R over M. So this would be an exponent symbol. And make sure that your exponent is in grouping, open and close parenthesis, and then place now the product of TM, which is negative, and then the product of TM is located here. So there you go, I am complete with my inputs on my spreadsheet formula. So this is equal to principal value multiplied to periodic rate divided by 1 minus open parenthesis 1 plus the periodic rate raised to the exponent negative TM or total number of payments. So when I hit enter I have a value of 1247.96 let me place that in two decimal place so that Answering this question, how much is the monthly payment if you have made a down payment of 2,000 pesos at an interest rate of 6% compounded monthly for a smartphone whose cash price is 16,500? So you are going to pay 1,247.96 pesos on a monthly basis for one year. Let's proceed to example number two. Example number two, based on carmoody.com, the Philippines' best-selling car in 2015 and 2016 was the Toyota Vios, which sold at around 3,000 units per month. Calculate the required monthly periodic payment R for each model if a 20% down payment is required and money is invested at a rate of 15% compounded monthly for three years and five years. So in this example, we'll talk about Toyota Vios model. So on my table, I actually have 10 different Vios model with different prices as well. So the price listed here is in increasing order, starting with Toyota Vios 1.3 base manual transmission. So let's check it out. Cash price is 617,000 pesos and now you are required to give a down payment of 20% and we are to compute for the monthly payment if you are to choose for 3 years or monthly payment for 5 years if the given rate is 15% compounded monthly. So on this table, periodic rate is already provided on one column, so that's the quotient of R and M. If we simplify that, we have a rate of 15% in decimal value that should be 0 0.15 divided by the M value. Since you are going to pay on a monthly basis, that would be 12. So when I press enter, I have a periodic rate of 0 0.0125 or in percent form that is 1.25 percent meaning you are paying 1.25 percent interest rate on a monthly basis so when I drag this formula up to the last row it should be the same and on a similar manner if we talk about total number of payments if you are going to pay for three years on a monthly basis, meaning that is equal to three years multiplied to 12 times a year, so that would be 36 times in three years. So let's copy this formula. There you go. And on a similar manner, if you are going to pay for five years on a monthly basis, this is equal to five years multiplied to 12 times a year. So press enter, that would be 60 times or 60 payments made in 5 years. So let me just copy this formula. And these are all the values we're going to use for the different brand or model of Toyota Vias. Of course, 
with different cash price as well. So now let's compute for the 20% down payment for each VIOS model. So this is equal to 0 0.2, that's 20%, multiplied to this value of the first model. So when I press enter, the down payment for VIOS 1.3 base manual transmission should be 123,400 pesos. So if I copy the formula, it should automatically compute for the rest of the models. So for example, for Toyota VIOS 1.5 automatic transmission white pearl, if the cash price is 1,014,000 pesos, you're going to provide a down payment of 202,800 pesos. There you go. So let's look at the present value. This is now the difference or this is the remaining value after you have made a down payment. This present value will be subject to the computation of the periodic payment R. So let's take the difference now of the cash price and the down payment. This should give you the present value. And then copy the formula. There you go. So if you are working with spreadsheet, it's going to be easy once you have laid down the first formula. Now let me compute for your monthly payment if you choose to pay it for three years. So using our formula, this would be equal to, let me set up my numerator divided by my denominator. And then I have here the present value multiplied to the periodic rate, which is the quotient of the interest rate and M. Then let me work on with my denominator. This is 1 minus the grouping symbol. This is 1 plus the periodic rate. And then followed by, let me place it here, an exponent symbol. And then a grouping symbol for my exponent. This is negative product of T and M, which is 60, located on this cell. Press enter. And this is now your monthly payment if you have decided to pay this kind of model, Toyota VS model, for three years. If I drag this formula down or simply copy the formula for all the remaining VS model, then this is now the stated monthly payment for each model for three years. Now if you choose to pay it for five years, the formula is going to be the same. This is equal to set up your numerator, divide by your denominator, and then work on the numerator first. You have here your present value multiplied to the periodic rate located here. And then go to your denominator. That's 1 minus another grouping. 1 plus your periodic rate. And then you need to locate your exponent after the grouping inside the denominator symbol. So this is exponent symbol, and then your exponent should be in grouping. That's minus the five years total number of payment, which is 60 located on this cell. So when I press enter, I have 11,742.71. Something is wrong here because my three years monthly payment is the same with my five years monthly payment. Let me double check what I have placed. It seems I made a mistake on my TM. It shouldn't be K10. It should be J10, column J, row 10, because this is the three years to pay or the number of payments in three years. Press enter. 
and I have a value of 17,110.81. That means these are all incorrect. So let me repair this. If I drag this formula, it should change. There you go. So does it make sense that the monthly payment for three years is higher than the monthly payment for five years? The answer is yes. The monthly payment on a shorter period of time should be higher than the longer period of time. So when I drag the formula indicated in this cell, it should be a lower price or lower payment than the three years monthly payment. So there you go. So when an agent offer you a car and you can't afford to pay it in cash, you're going to go with annuity such that it's going to require a down payment and the agent will compute for the monthly payment if you choose to pay in three years or in five years. So this is the application of annuity in real life. Most of the things we buy today are paid on a monthly basis. Like for example, cell phone, television, refrigerator, washing machine, motorcycle, and of course, your car. Once again, this is Annuity with this formula. Thank you for watching.